The United States Air Force's Strategic Bomber Force, as part of the Nuclear Triad, enables military leaders to customize force protection standards around the world. This is fundamental in securing global stability, as well as protecting our nation and allies. The Air Force Global Strike Command, B-52 Stratofortress, plays a huge role in this mission. From being developed at the start of the Cold War, and first seeing active service at the beginning of the Vietnam conflict, the B-52 has been utilized in every major military campaign the United States has been involved in ever since. But how can an airframe designed in a hotel room in 1948, carved in balsa wood, possibly be relevant flying next to aircraft like the F-35? This can best be described in two words, adaptability and flexibility. As national security threats have changed over time, the B-52 has been at the forefront by functioning not only as the primary strategic bomber of the Air Force, but also by showing potential adversaries the nuclear capabilities of the United States. To understand how a 60-year-old airframe can still be relevant in the modern age, we need to break down some of its capabilities. With a wingspan of 185 feet, a length of 159 feet, and powered by eight Pratt & Whitney turbofan engines, the B-52 is not only large, but fast. With a range of 8,800 miles without refueling, the B-52 gives warfighters the ability to have it loiter overhead, ready for action as situations develop. The B-52 has a maximum payload of 70,000 pounds. This payload can include both conventional and nuclear-equipped weapons. Some of the conventional ordnance currently employed include the Mark 82 and Mark 84 general purpose bombs, the Quick Strike family of shallow water aircraft laid mines used primarily against surface and subsurface craft. The Mark 62 and Mark 63 are converted general purpose bombs, and the Mark 65 is a 2,390 pound mine utilizing a thin walled mine case rather than a bomb body. The GBU-31, GBU-38, GBU-10, and GBU-12 precision guided bombs, CBU-103 cluster bombs, AGM-158 cruise missiles, and M-129 leaflet bombs used for psychological operations. One of the earliest requirements designed into the B-52 was the ability to deploy nuclear weapons. Currently, the airframe's nuclear capability utilizes AGM-86 subsonic nuclear cruise missiles. In the future, the B-52 will also be a platform for deploying hypersonic weapons like the AGM-183 air-launched rapid response weapon. All of these weapon systems and capabilities allow the B-52 to perform a variety of conventional and nuclear missions as well as maritime, psyops, precision bombing, direct attack, and standoff. The B-52 is also equipped with an electronic warfare system designed to protect any allied aircraft currently occupying the battle space. The flexibility of that 1948 design, made over a weekend in that hotel room in Ohio, allows the B-52 to not only adapt to current 21st century warfighting tactics, but allows it to effectively serve a variety of missions until its planned retirement in 2045 giving it a total service lifespan of almost 100 years.